Hello, my name is Haim Mendelssohn, and I'm a co-director of our Value Chain Innovation Initiative. I've been a faculty member here at the business school for 30 years, and I've been teaching classes on new business models and on electronic business. My research focuses on the effects of new technology on companies, industries, and value chains, and I've published about 100 academic papers, about 50 company case studies, and five books in these areas. But who is counting? This week, I've been focusing on three research topics. The first one looks at online lending. Online lending is an interesting phenomenon because when we start, we don't know enough about our customers, so we end up lending to the wrong people and losing money. Over time, we learn more and more, and we hopefully start making money. So what we're doing is throwing away $20 bills so we can learn about the people who pick them up today so we can start making money in the future. The research question is, what is the best way to do that? And how much money do we need to burn before we start making money? And how can we reduce our losses? The second research topic looks at an application of blockchain to create what is called a stable coin, or a medium of exchange, which, unlike Bitcoin, has relatively stable prices. I won't go into all the details of that because it can get very technical very quickly. The third one looks at the effects of virtual voice assistants on what we buy and sell and at what price. Because the voice interface is so easy and natural, this is why I'm telling you about myself using voice, we expect more and more people to buy through a voice interface. You may think that this is just another channel that makes like life easier, but actually it has some special properties because you don't see all the products in front of you at the same time. Instead, the virtual assistant presents them to you one at a time, and you have to say yes or no. This actually has big implications on how products are sold and priced. And this research looks at how a virtual assistant will present things for you to buy given what they know about you and what they're trying to achieve. The virtual assistant may work for you and try to get you the best product and price. Or it may work for the seller and try to get them the best profit. Let me turn to the Value Chain Innovation Initiative, which is a school-wide initiative here at the business school. The perspective we are taking is that new technologies create opportunities to build new business models that affect the way business is done in each part of the value chain, as well as the way the entire value chain is configured. This can happen in product markets, where marketplaces and new channels like the virtual assistant that we've talked about can totally transform the ways we buy and sell. Or it can apply to banking, where the lending value chain is totally transformed by the ability to reach new customers that we don't know all that well, and we need to figure out efficient ways to learn about them without burning too much money. Or it can apply to the way the blockchain will change the structure of supply chains for goods and services and how we pay for them. More generally, we look at three types of innovation. Product innovation, process innovation, and business model innovation. Each of them changes the structure of the value chain in a different way, and it happens differently in different industries and contexts. What we want to do is learn how this happens and find ways to create more value along the, the value chain. We all know that one way to create value through innovation is to design new products, going all the way from Edison and the light bulb to Steve Jobs and the iPhone but we can also create value by organizing the value chain in a different way. For example, the way we trade along the value chain, and this can apply to trading raw materials or to trading pork bellies or final products or stocks, can have a big impact on the value we create along the value chain. Or in agriculture, which is an area that we have studied recently, the way we manage information flows can lead to better matching of supply and demand and can save maybe 20% of the value of perishable products that we might have thrown away. 3D printing allows us to substitute information flows for material flows and is going to transform manufacturing over the next 20 years. And this is an area that we have studied in one of our forums and we are continuing to study. 
We've been looking at the impact of the Internet of Things on value chains and at platforms that can facilitate their deployment. Our next big area of research is the effects of AI on the structure of value chain and we'll so soon have an event focusing on these effects. Well, there are so many interesting questions we could look at and so little time. So let me stop here and go back to work.